Hi and welcome back to AJ Class Sports. Good to see you today. So uh, today we're going to be speaking of uh, bonnet vents, of our bonnet vents. Uh, so if you have not done it already, please subscribe and like this video because it's going to help me a lot in uh, making new content. So let's get right to it. Now finally the bonnet vents are available to purchase. So this is great news. Uh, it's been very hard to manage to blend the technologies of production uh, in order to get a robust product but at the same time in an acceptable price. So what I would like to do today is to go through the various questions I received and then talk a bit more about the development that has been done. So. Um, the main question or objection I am getting about the bonnet vents is regarding Hey, AJ, I don't want to cut my uh, aluminium bonnet from my GR Yaris, so I will either not do anything, but I'm going to be losing on the performance, or I will be buying a carbon bonnet. Okay, so aluminium stock modified or carbon bonnet? So. It's not so easy to understand, but in fact, the way these two materials work is very much different. And as, as long as this car is a road car, you will be wanting to retain your aluminium bonnet, because aluminium, for the way it distorts, is being designed on this specific car and homologated and this is the same thing in, for example on rally cars where you have to maintain the steel or aluminium bonnets and then they place as we did the, the vents on top of them because this is road going compliance and why is this? this is not just a matter of weight because the weights are also very similar the point is how does carbon react when it is in front of an impact when it sustains an impact so Talking of a carbon bonnet that is not like, uh, let's say, a Formula One carbon um, uh, crash box that is something totally different, what happens is that upon a strong impact, carbon pulverizes. It pulverizes and it absorbs energy by doing that, and uh, that's how it works on Formula One. But if the part is just a skin like a bonnet, what happens most of the time is that a fracture or many fractures create, the material pulverizes in that part, but let's say if you are having unfortunately an accident with a pedestrian, what would happen is the carbon bonnet would crack and in that crack the, the pedestrian could get cut very badly or stuck in the material itself whilst the aluminium has got, uh, let's say, a program deformability, therefore the aluminium can just move and, uh, uh, let's say, accept the shape of the pedestrian and help retain the, the, the energy in this way by modifying its structure. So this is the first point. Second point, hey AJ, yeah, these uh, Vents are very big and uh, yes, there's something impactful on the, on the image of the car. Personally, I like them very much. We uh, have designed these 100% of the WRC1 Toyota Gazoo car. And why is this? First of all, to have some uh, similar appearance, but secondly, because these have been uh, aero tunnel tested. So we did a lot of testing of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, data testing on the computer with virtual validation and we have done also the, 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 the cotton wool tests in real life and we have gone through three iterations and this one was the first. You see very bulky, very big, but we needed to make a, a proof of concept. Then we made a second one that was very much thinner and the third one that is uh, uh, still thin but has got the uh, right characteristics especially in the strakes that are very delicate if not done in the right way under it this has been installed on the car for testing you have uh, a path that has been already designed into the part even the present one where you can go and put your structural um, adhesive that will permit you to uh, link it to the bond and, and bond it to the bonnet. Sorry for that. <laughs> and it will work perfectly. 
Now, the other point is how far are these grills, these vents, uh, uh, apart from each other on the bonnet? For example, uh, Italy, Italy has got uh, a rally championship with uh, lightly modified or averagely modified GRs. And uh, I had told them, listen, I will give you the bonnet bands because they're proven, they're done. And they're like, well, I don't know, I don't know, because it was at the time not possible to produce them in small batches. And therefore it was uh, a big buy. And they went and uh, let's say with a workshop approach and not with an engineering approach, they bought some smaller vents and they placed them too much in the center of the bonnets. And this led to two problems. The first is their overall effectiveness was not so good. The second one was that these rally cars have had massive issues with their coil packs because being in such in the center, the water, the rainwater and the humidity was going down on top of the engine that was without the engine cover and going into the coil packs and that created a massive disruption. Now we're talking to see if they will adopt these uh, in the next season, but we, we are seeing about it. This is to say that, uh, uh, yes, you can purchase and install these bonnet vents without having any problems or uh, being afraid of damaging your car or your electronics, because this has been proven for over one year of testing on my car and two winters. My car is a daily, so I go, it sleeps in a garage, but I go to the office and it stays in the open all day, whatever the weather, and uh, zero problems, absolutely. We just put a very small liner on top of the ECU connectors, the three big connectors on top of the ECU, even if they're not directly exposed, let's say, just to be hyper sure, and we have had zero problems. Weight, the weight is, almost none and what you go to cut out from the bonnet actually is made back by the outer structure of, of this shape therefore the bonnet does not lose its structural rigidity so this again is another thing so AJ what benefits can I expect while doing this installation and buying these parts well what you can expect is two things first is cooling Basically, the function of these vents, the primary function, is that to extract air, the air that comes in from the front section of the car, the front lower section through the intercooler and radiators and condensers, all this package, and the air usually finds the quickest and easiest path. So on one side, some of this air impacts on the engine and then it goes down the transmission tunnel, therefore augmenting the quantity of air that goes under the car. That is the opposite of what you want. Another part of the air goes up towards the bonnet and it pushes the bonnet up, thus creating lift. And in all of this, it adds to the mechanics of all the air generated by the front wheels in the wheel wells. Therefore, what you want to do with these vents is to give the air an easy path to get out in a low pressure area of your bonnet that is in fact near to the uh, front windscreen of the car. This is how it works and it works magically. I mean you can see at the track something like if you don't have an oil radiator up to 15 degrees Celsius less oil temperature and if you do have an oil radiator you will see still very much lower intake temperatures on an average of 7 degrees and about 5 degrees on your oil with a consistency that you have never seen before and this helps cool all the engine so not only the package as we were saying of coolers, intercoolers, a radiator and condenser but also the gearbox and also the engine block because it's not just the liquid it's the whole thing that needs to be cooled and this is all let's say for aerodynamics in, uh, in, uh, in a nutshell. So on the other hand, what you can expect is uh, aerodynamics. Aerodynamics intended as the impact of aero on the dynamics of the car. Well, here I, I was not expecting such a difference. Now you understand how much a trick they do on these WCR1 cars, but it is huge. 
As soon as you start hitting 90, 100 kilometers per hour, you feel the car sitting down on itself. In my specific case, this was complemented in two different moments, so I know the difference, also with uh, uh, Toyota's uh, front underbonnet, uh, skirt and side, uh, and side diffusers, and uh, the package together works so well, it's unbelievable. I had this uh, car tested by a pro driver that uh, uh, does a lot of uh, world championships on GT3 cars, and he thought it was unbelievable the way this car sticks down. We were trying it on sweeping curves at 160 and 200 and over kilometers per hour and the car is just sticking down. So it's a big difference because with the GR as standard, you pick up this car and you try it around in the, in the slow roads and the B roads and you say, wow, it's a fantastic tool, I love it. But then when you get to a motorway or a faster road or to the track and you start getting those higher speeds over speed limits, you're like, whoa, what's happening? Why is the steering so vague? And this is about front lift and suspension, but mostly it's about front lift because I can tell you that if you take a stock car and you put these vents on, you're going to have a massive difference in the car's handling. So, we still have a batch in coming on January the 12th and uh, will be ready for, for shipping. There is, I think, one set left at the moment. And uh, for any questions, just please let me know in the comments. I'm looking forward to reply to you guys. And uh, I'll be here to, to, to see you soon and receive your orders. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Merry Christmas.